Hi folks, it's Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab again. This is a quick video showing you the four basic techniques of CAD that we use to take flat shapes and turn them into 3D objects. So the first one is extrude, where we just take a flat shape and we give it a height. The second one is revolve, we take a flat shape and we spin it around an axis. Uh, the third one is uh, sweep, we take a flat shape and we move it along a path in space. Um, and then the fourth one is loft where we take a bunch of flat cross sections and we connect them like we're wrapping them in paper or canvas or something like that. Um, you can use either SolidWorks or SketchUp to do most of these. Loft is very hard to do in SketchUp. Uh, it does not come built in. But in SketchUp you can use the push pull tool to extrude and you can use the follow me tool to either sweep or revolve. Um, you just use a circle as your path for the follow me tool if you're going to revolve. Uh, let's have a look at these. I'm going to use SolidWorks to show you because it's a little bit easier. These are all extrusions. You can see that they all go straight up. Let me go backwards and show you what that we started with for each of these. So I started with these flat sketches. So there is all my flat sketches and that's extrude. This is a sweep. You can see it goes along a path. So what I started with were these two sketches. These are re both revolutions. Uh, this one's revolved around uh, a line on its own uh, sketch, and this one is revolved around an axis that's uh, farther away from the sketch. So I'll show you. So that's revolve. And then the last one I have is loft. So these are both lofts. Um, one of these is made with several different cross sections, and this one's only made with two. There's those two along that guiding curve. And there's all the cross sections that make up that one. So hopefully this will help you decide which one of these tools is the right tool to use. And you can watch one of my basic videos to, to show you how to do it.